<clears throat> you are Dong, a peasant living in the kingdom of Larion. You have a pitchfork and nothing else. You wake up and begin working in the fields. You see your wife and children off to work as well. One day, you hear a noise from outside. It sounds like orcs or ogres raging the village. They seem to be coming from all directions, but it is getting late, so you decide that you should go out there and help defend it. What do you do? Change my mind and continue working. No, I'm not going, you say angrily. I'll do what you want me to. Your wife looks at you with, your con with concern. <clears throat> she knows how much this means to you. Wife. Oh. Wife. These orcs and ogres are always trying to stop me from working on my mud frog. I've had it. I've had. <laughs> I think I immediately broke. You grab your wife by her hand and kiss her passionately. She returns the gesture with a passionate embrace. You then pull away quickly, realizing just how wrong you were about this. No. My mud wife cannot embrace me. It's impossible for mud to be human. You turn back around and leave. Your wife is disappointed, but understands your reasons. A few days later, you return home from the field. The villagers are gathered outside waiting for you. What the hell are you doing here? My wife has been kidnapped by orcs and ogres. We need to get her back now. Okay. Let me get my things. rush into the house and start running through the rooms looking for something to make mud with. Finally, you find some dirt and start muddling everything in sight. The villagers stare at you in disbelief. They don't believe that such an ordinary man could be capable of such a thing. <clears throat> oh. Finish crafting. mud sword and shield you finish making the mud sword and shield you put them together and take them to show everyone everyone seems impressed including your wife who says she's never thought you could do such a thing <laughs> now let's go rescue your wife you and your wife run off to the nearest town where you tell the guards you saw two men walking towards your farm. One was tall, one was short. You also told them their clothes looked very dirty and raggedy. Oh. Offer mud to guards if they help protect you. You run back to the farmhouse and offer the guards some mud. They accept your offer and start washing up. As you wash up, you notice that their clothes look even worse than yours did. They both ask if you can help them clean themselves too, since they smell bad. <laughs> Tell them that everyone smells bad here. You tell the guards that everyone smells bad here. They both agree and begin scrubbing themselves vigorously. Leave house and go check on orcs and ogres. You hurry back to the house and see that the orcs and ogres are still there. You decide to check on them first before going back to the har farmhouse. How are you guys? I ask the Orcs and ogres. 
want anything while I'm out. You approach the orcs and ogres and ask if anyone wants anything while you're out. Listen, <laughs> listen to them. Well, what do they tell me? <laughs> Come on. I need something to do. Lead me somewhere, AI dungeon. They seem pretty happy about your visit and tell you they've heard all about how you saved their lives when they were attacked by bandits. Yes. They stood no chance. For me and my mud steed. But thanks anyway. And then thank you again and bid you goodbye as they head off back to their own homes. <laughs> Call Rupert. Oh, come on. Oh. <clears throat> Call Rupert. The Dung Salesman. Wait, I should put that in quotes. You call Rupert over and he comes running over with his pitchfork. He tells you that he'll be able to get rid of the orcs faster than you can and offers to sell you some more dung if it helps. <laughs> Watch in horror <laughs> as Rupert kills the friendly orcs and ogres <laughs> oh my god then you hear him talking to himself about how he should have killed them sooner instead call the police and report Rupert for murder <laughs> <laughs> Call the police and report for murdering the orcs and ogres. The cops are out truly asked for and arrest him immediately. <laughs> Give police a statement. Turns out that Rupert was planning to kill them all from the beginning so he could steal their livestock. Livestock can sell it later on. Oh my god. <laughs> Call their wives and give them the bad news. <laughs> they don't look too pleased about this though. Offer them some mud in these trying times. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I, I quoted that. They sent the offer. Oh, I said offer them some mud in these trying times. Give them mud and go back home. I like how I told them, offer them mud. Whatever. My wife is very upset about what happened to her husband. She begs you not to leave yet, but you insist that you need time alone with your family. Wait! Go talk to mud children. Oh, to my mud children. <laughs> <sighs> you go talk to your mud children who are happy to see you. They tell you that they're going to help you build up a new farmhouse for the future. Um, thank them. And give them presents. <sighs> what is this AI gonna think of? Thank them and give them presents. They're very thankful for this gift. Um, go back outside and look into the sky. Go outside and look into the sky where you find that the sun is set completely. You think it's time to get home now. I am okay. Uh, 
go back inside and notice man in bushes. Fuck, I can't spell. Wait, I went back inside and I noticed. Do I have bushes in my house? You turn inside and notice a man in the bushes behind you. He looks like he might be an orc or ogre, but you can't tell because his skin is covered with fur. You quickly run away as fast as possible before he sees you. Um, run back inside and barricade all the doors and windows. The orc doesn't even try to break the door. He just stands there looking at you with those big green eyes of his. Give the orc a wink and go watch paint dry. Give the orc a wink and go watch paint dry. He gives you a nod and then goes back to painting. <laughs> Compliment the orc on his use of shades and colors. Fuck. He smiles and nods to you, but says nothing more. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stack mud. Stack mud, hoping that will keep you safe from the orc's attack. The orcs minutes to probe your trap door and escape down the mountain. They don't seem to care if they killed some of your livestock, though. Swear revenge on orcs. And swear revenge on orcs and pray for them to be smitten. Wait, that's. Wait, what's smite? What is the. Hang on. Swear revenge on orcs and go to wizard school to learn. How to wield magic. You swear vengeance on orcs and go to wizard school to learn how to wield magic. Unfortunately, you still die in the attempt! <laughs> Haunt the orcs who killed my livestock. and use my new ghost powers to smite them. They aren't too happy about this, but eventually they accept it. <laughs> Become friends with orcs who are now also ghosts. You know, friends with orcs who are now also ghosts. They help you to move mountains when the king dies, which helps you survive another winter. <laughs> Wake up and take my medicine. First wonders, your hair grows back and your body heals itself. You're able to walk again. You have magical abilities and live happily ever after. Congratulations, you win! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha